Are you looking to advertise your small business? Well, look no further. The PowerCast Network gets over 4,000 hits per day, and we can meet your advertising needs. Our packages start out at just $1 per day, and you will get access to our 4,000 viewer strong market per day. Call today, 815-290-9087, or send an email to info at braddrake.net. Do you enjoy our YouTube content? Do you wish there was more? Well, now there is. Patreon.com slash PowerCast Network. There you will find, just starting at $5 a month, more access to podcasts, to shows, to other saves. Check it out today, everybody. That's patreon.com slash PowerCast Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save tonight. The AWA is in Winnipeg, and we are running a spot show at the Duckworth Center. Now, this spot show is not going to be held for anything. We're not raising any money for anybody. We're just doing a spot show at the Duckworth Center. So here we are. Let's take a look at our absent workers. Nobody but Jerry Blackwell, who's suffering from that long-term injury. And we have a lot of what appears to be protege work here. And yes, sir, that's exactly what we have going on here. And lots of protege work, which is good for us and good for our promotion and the future of our promotion. A lot of young wrestlers are going to get experience. Get, how do I put that? Not get experience. They're going to get experience by hitting the ring, but they're going to get advice from experienced wrestlers. That's a better way to say it. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> so here we go. We're continuing on here. This is a lot of protege work here today in Winnipeg. And Bob Backlund. He's always so nice to the little person, Ben Patrick. It's always very nice of him. Oh, Bob Backlund is with uh, Pat Tanaka now, too. That's terrific. All right, so that clears us out. No more problems there. So let's go ahead and take a look at our card for this evening. Remember, it's a spot show, so it's just a six-show card. Uh, we have a lot of new viewers, a lot. Yeah, we have a lot of new subscribers. In fact, we have gone up, boy, what is it, something like 800% in our viewership since... September. So we are on fire, everybody. And uh, there's a lot of new viewers, a lot of new eyeballs on our product. So this spot show, everybody, traditionally a spot show is a high school or a church or a uh, youth club, something like that will bring a company into an arena. They make all the arrangements and pay for everything and get everything set up, and they just pay a flat fee to the promotion to come in. It's a fundraiser, essentially, and it's uh, always very good for the company to do these because it's guaranteed money, and it's good for the organization looking to do the fundraiser because it's a way for them to raise money. So uh, that's why we do these spot shows in the AWA Save to keep it realistic. Obviously, in this case, we're just doing a one-off show here in the Duckworth Center. So we're going to go ahead and run down our card for everybody. It's only a six-match card. Spot shows tended to be smaller shows. And we're going to have Shirley Black versus Reggie Bennett in the opener. We're going to see the top guns tangle with the Nasty Boys. Rookie Rick Titan is going to meet Mr. Magnificent Kevin Kelly. Steve Osanowski is going to battle Manny Fernandez. DJ Peterson and the Trooper will meet the Russians in the semi-main. And in our main event this evening, everybody, here once again in Winnipeg, Manitoba, we are going to see the Iron Sheik face Ron Simmons. Let's get to booking. Here we go. Black versus Bennett in the opener. And it is a 12-minute bout. And 
And here we go, Shirley. Shirley Black is doing her thing. And she is working Reggie Bennett. A mean, nasty woman wrestler. Very talented. We're going to leave this one open. We'll see who gets the win. Up next, we have the Top Guns and the Nasty Boys. Let's double check their time here. They're going to go 14 minutes. And we'll change this over to a two versus two. There we go. And here are the Top Guns. And here are the Nasty Boys. I just noticed we have not been using the Nasty Boys enough for spot shows. We've been using the Destruction Crew quite a bit more. And we got to make some more time for the Nasty Boys. So we're going to leave this one open-ended also. Because we have the potential to have four heel wins in a row here, if not more. Uh, actually, a potential for five heel wins in a row. <laughs> All right, next, Rick Titan and Kevin Kelly are going to go at it here. Rick Titan, of course, is a native of Calgary, Alberta. So he's quite a ways away from home here, but at least he's in his native country. And Kevin Kelly, of course, is managed by none other than Baby Doll. We brought her in after uh, we lost Sherry Martell. Here's Rick Titan. Rick Titan was a big dude and in good shape, even when he was a rookie. And Kevin Kelly is also another big dude who's in good shape. We're going to leave this one open-ended, but I highly doubt that Rick Titan's going to get the victory here. All right, up next, Steve Olsonowski versus Manny Fernandez. And are they at 16 here? They are. This one's going to go 16. Olsonowski just continues to be a good, serviceable hand for us. Good wrestler. And here's Manny Fernandez. And Fernandez is on fire. Remember, he just toppled Wahoo McDaniel in that Indian strap match from Wrestle Rock 88. So we are going to make sure that Manny Fernandez gets the win here. And we'll give Steve-O a little bit of an out with a tainted finish. So he's going to definitely cheat to win. Up next, we have Peterson and the Trooper battling the Russians. And the Russians, of course, are managed by Sheik Adnan al -KC. And here is Peterson and the Trooper. Yes, one of my favorite teams. <laughs> I know I say it every time, but I have to. I really like them. And we're going to leave this one open, and that I would be surprised if the Russians didn't get the victory. All right, our main event, and it's a good one here, definitely a good one. We have the Iron Sheik versus Ron Simmons. And these two are going to go to a double disqualification. Typical screw job finish for a spot show. Both these guys are putting in some good work for us. I enjoy having both of them on the roster. I got big plans for Ron Simmons. And as long as Shiki keeps himself clean and doesn't get in any trouble, he's got a spot with us as long as he wants. But one more drug arrest and I'm going to send him down the road. All right, double DQ, epic. This one's booked. All right, we're at our usual 111 minutes for the spot show. I'm telling you, we could end up with one, two, three, four, five out of six matches going to the heels here. But we're going to see what happens. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, Reggie Bennett, as I predicted, got the win over Shirley Black with her big splash, 38 overall. Bennett, of course, is managed by Don Carson. And up next here, Hey, the Top Guns got the win over the Nasty Boys. So that's a good thing for us. Shakes things up so we're not looking at potential heels getting the win all the way through. And here we go. Kevin Kelly defeats Rick Titan with that sleeper that he does. And we got a 56 overall for this match. Not a bad score considering Rick Titan is brand new and not over at all. All right, Fernandez and Olsonowski. Fernandez gets the win over Olsonowski. They only get a 68. I was expecting a little bit better of a score, but for some reason, they both seemed off their game, whatever that means. And, uh, well, it's just the way it goes sometimes. All right. The Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 
And a big shocker here, everybody. DJ Peterson and the Trooper have defeated the Russians. When the Trooper beats Ustinov with the full Nelson slam, I never would have seen this one coming, everybody. Never in a million years would I have predicted that Peterson and the Trooper were going to get the win over the Russians. But you saw it. It just happened here. Anything could happen on a spot show, everybody. Anything could happen. Wow. Hold back penalties, fatigue. Why is Zhukov fatigued? Anyway, wow, that is a shocker, everybody. I am, I am totally surprised and taken aback by that one. All right, here's our main event. Shiki and Ron Simmons only get a 73, even though we got an 81 and a 74. How do they only end up with a 73? Well, I'm going to call it what that one is, and I'm going to call it as BS and the old TEW screw job. We're going to finish this one up. 70 overall, not a bad score for a spot show. Nice paying crowd here of 2450, 2450. It's a nice sellout. So I'll take it. All right, we are heading to television tapings now up next here. Well, let's adjust the spot show. Uh, we'll have another spot show on Thursday. Remember, we are beginning our new loop here, which is always a fun and exciting to do. And we're going to have TV tapings, and so that means we are taping Major League Wrestling. So we'll make the adjustment here right now. Gonna, uh, that make yeah, that's exactly why I had the spot show. That's exactly why we're in Canada here. All right, here we go. Make that adjustment. Light it up. We're going to put in the proper dates here. Everybody, if you keep a uh, if you keep a spreadsheet, you got to keep it neat and clean. You got to do it this way, otherwise you're going to confuse yourself. You can lose information. Keep it neat and clean, just like this. Makes life a heck of a lot easier. All right, uh, let's take a look here. Anything that catches our eyes. Rick Davis, the UWA. I don't even know what this means. Oh, it's All Star Wrestling. <laughs> All right, we have a lot of people looking for time to heal. You're working like two days a week for us, most of the time, one day a week. If you can't handle it, it's not my problem. Oh, well, look at this. We've got another Rambo movie coming up. It's Rambo 3 when he goes into Afghanistan. Yep. So they're, it's a uh, very entertaining, craptastic Rambo movie. I dig it. I still think that uh, First Blood was just a fantastic film. And the Rambo one's got a little bit goofy. Uh, if you pay attention to our channel, we run a bunch of old cartoon stuff. And if it hasn't aired already, we're going to have the Rambo cartoon beginning coming up here. All right, the... Uh, Championship Wrestling Association ran in the Louisville Gardens. Good stuff. Austin Idol over Rocky Johnson, 92. 85 overall. Good show. Who is the future? Roy Lee Welch and Alan West. They are the future. Wild West continues to run here, even though they are like $6 million in debt. This one blows my mind. There you go. Duggan. Over Tatum. Remember, Jim Duggan got fired by the WWF. Uh, in real life, they had picked them back up by at this point, him and Shiki. But in the game, it ain't happening. All right, what do we got? Live event for the WWF here. Nikolai Volkov over Coco Beware. Jimmy Snuka over Jimmy Jack Funk. Hercules over Rangans. Good show here. A little weird, but a good show nonetheless. And NWA, live event. Wh what is going on here? Why on earth would they have a women's match in the main event and in the semi-main? What is the computer doing here? This just does not make any sense. You know what? Let's take a look at this really quick. If that said 54, right? Oh, live event 102. This just does not make any sense. All 
All right, let's type in 103. There's the NWA. This just does not make any sense. Ah, there's nothing I can do about it now. All you can do is defend titles. Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can do to change it between tour. And the only thing I could do is add Jim Crockett Promotions and go in and edit it that way. That's about all I could do. Boy, is that awful. Just awful. All right, that's going to do it for us, everybody. For this one, we'll be back in action tomorrow with our television tapings for Major League Wrestling. For those of you that are new to the channel, and there are a lot of you, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave a message below. Let us know how you found the channel. If you would like version 9 of the Super Mod, head on over to braddrake.net, drop me a line. Be more than happy to send you over a link to the database and the picture pack. Last but not least, join us on social media, facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 supermod. You can also find us over on Reddit with the subreddit of TEW2020 Friends. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.